guys, it's me again, and here we go with Nicaragua. As the agricultural revolution, as it was called, arrived in Nicaragua about 400 BC. And then in 502, Christopher Columbus landed on the coast of what is now Nicaragua. But he did not explore inland until 1522 when Gil Gonzalez de Avila led an expedition to the region, but the next year in 1523 the Spanish landing force and founded Leon and Granada as the Spanish conquered Nicaragua and divided the land between themselves into the larger states where the, like the indigenous people were forced to work and in the 17th century the English, Dutch, French pirates sometimes attacked the Atlantic coast of Nicaragua But little changed in within Nicaragua until the 19th century. As in 1821, parts of Central America broke away from Spanish rule and from the United Central Provinces. But in 1938, Nicaragua became completely independent. And during the 19th century, Nicaragua was divided between liberal, the liberals and conservatives. In 1855, an independent like an American adventurer called William Walker seized power in what is now Nicaragua and in 1856 he declared himself president but was driven out in 1857 and in 19, 1813 uh, 1893 my name's Jose Santos Celia made himself a dictator like all people do of Nicaragua, and in 1909 there was a rebellion, so Haya was forced to resign, and in 1912 the USA sent Marines to occupy Nicaragua, and they remained until 1933. And in 1936, Anastasio Somoza Garcia became a dictator of Garcia, as he and his family ruled the country for the next 42 years. As Anastasio Somoza Garcia was assassinated in 1956, but his son Luis de Bayele took area as dictator of Nicaragua, but died 12 years later in 1967, and was taken over by, and was followed by his younger brother, Anastasio Somoza de Bayele. As meanwhile, in 1961, the Frente Sandinista de Liberación, or Sandinista National Liberation Front, or FSLN, was formed. As it kind of began a, began a long guerrilla war. And in 1972, Managua was struck by a severe earthquake as Somoza. And Aquinas took much of the international aid and opposition to his regime grew. And in 1978, rebellion was spreading f throughout Nicaragua. And finally, in 1979, the Sardinistas launched an offensive. And on the 17th of July 1979, Somoza fled abroad. And on the 19th of July, two, day two days after that, the Somozas fled abroad. The Sardinistas captured Managua as a campaign against the Somozas had cost about 50,000 people, like lives and all that. While in 1972, Managua, the capital of Nicaragua, was devastated by an earthquake which also killed thousands of people. As Daniel Ortega became president of Nicaragua in 1984, while relations with the USA deteriorated. As in, and in 1981, the US ended their aid and introduced, and introduced a trade embargo in 1985, which was lifted in 1990. As in 1990, the opposition to the Sardinistas, the Union Nationale, Apositora, UNO, 
won elections in the assembly of the presidency as Violetta Camara became first female president. Maybe just uh, disturbed your peace biscuits. <laughs> as Violetta Camara became the first female president of Nicaragua. As in 1997, Arnold de Alman became president, followed <coughs> by Enrique Balanas. Bolanas, as Daniel Ortega was elected president in 2006 and was re-elected in 2011, as Nicaragua is still a poor country, but there's kind of like redevelopment on the way and all that, as the population stands at around 66 million, that time was supposed to be written, yeah. I know, and you've probably heard of this one before, I think I spoke about it like within this last week, kind of thing. <coughs> There's something similar as Lesuga, is kind of like popular in lots of Latin American countries, as it's said to be a beautiful woman with a white dress and long hair, and she's supposed to appear to men who walk alone at night, especially to those who are drunk and are coming from a bar or a party. As the legend says that she just kind of sits down on a stone or a sidewalk, waiting for a man. And when a man saw her, she seems to be crying, so normally the guys start to talk to her and approach her. And when they are really close, they... she turns to look at them, and her face is not that of a woman but of a horse. As the legend says that the man, when the men see her, they become blind or crazy. So yeah, be careful of Rizuga. Yeah, bye for now. <laughs>